This is the modern vibes on Vibes Radio. Slow down, Jules and Agent Sasko on 145 Vibes Radio. 19 minutes after 7, Karibu Sana to the MVP Report Hour. And the local energy provider, Otada. Bades in Adebili Mkali, extraordinary. Mkali. Mm-hmm. The cream that rises to the top. Yeah, man, the cream <laughs> at the top of the meal. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. Uh, so, guys, we're live, www.vibesradio.co.ke, right here in Nairobi, 1045. And, of course, Mombasani, 98.7. Nyeri Mike, 98.8. And, of course, uh, Meru, 107.1. Ka Nairobi, baby. Now. Tukondani kama ka Telendani Asel. Exactly, man. So, kabla tuinge kwa ma MVP, no, uh, the front page the, of the Daily Sony. Yep. Let us just introduce our guest, somebody that you probably heard. Yeah. Heard of, he's a motivational speaker and a lawyer. Karibu sana, my brother. Um, a very good morning. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nimebambika sana kwa kwa isho. Habi watu jina yako, maze was too care. Mimi na hitu wafanya mambo kenodhia. Yo, yo. Hey. I have a name on my ID. Good job. Yeah. Bro, fanya mambo is actually your name. Yes, on For, my ID. Eh? So I told you. 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 Uh, uh, kutoka nijijue sinio sinio via tangu kuenda uh, consciousness yeah uh, awakening kusho jina mazeli kuletea likupatia some vibes high school primo so kwanza boy fanya mambo fm wanakuta fm fm kinudia actually hey. it began <laughs> hey, you are sharp when mm-hmm. it began mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimeikata uh-huh. but everyone nilikuwa tu wewe ni yule fanya mambo fanya mambo fanya it got uh-huh. to a point it can get to my nerves every uh-huh. uh-huh. time nikaipenda nikaikubali uh-huh. nikasema there must be a reason why people call me fanya mambo lazima kuna kitu kuna dudu akuite kuna kitu kuna fanya ndio akuite hivyo lazima kuna kitu it defines my character mm-hmm. it actually defines your character eh? yes umekwanga msi yani tu kufanya vitu yani you out there kusababisha <laughs> Ma, ni cheki fanya mambo kabla ufanya mambo nilikuwa nakuuliza ni nini nilifanya wa kuambiwa wa kuite there's something ili intrigue your story yote baki ah ule i think mimi ule mswa ma adrenaline rush ndio msi akiongea juu ya rugby na nilicheza yeah. rugby at some ah ule mze umepatana zi take that vile mnapandisia this guy here does not understand anything yeah nafikiria ngati rugby ni about social a game of hooligans played by gentlemen what so but anyway wait na wewe ulikuwa nilikuwa flank up here hata mimi nisha nilikuwa na chiki hiyo game nikiwa nimekaa said ya flank <laughs> the flanker's job is to yeah. defend and an extra man also when it comes to attacking. He's a bad man tackler. Yaani yeye Buddha hawezi kutengeneza wale kugonga mtu. Atakuumiza. Ondiao sasa. Au ndo kina FM. Fanya mambo. Good stuff. Karibu sana bro. Fiti asante sana. So kabla to ongea about something uh, okay tell people what, what you do. Uh, you see I'm a lawyer mm-hmm. professionally. Ah, okay. Na mimi ufanya law moja tofauti sana. Watu Kenya wandio mm-hmm. wanaanza ku appreciate. Mm-hmm. It's called mediation and arbitration. Ah, good stuff. We are the people who help people resolve their disputes out of court. Nice. Sai we have 21,000 advocates. Kazi yao ni kupeleka kesi kotini. Uh-huh. Mimi niko pande nyingine zenye ziko kotini zime stuck, mumechoka yeah. kusumbuana. Mm. We help you to remove these cases out of court. Uh-huh. So I am um, an accredited mediator mm. and arbitrator i help people resolve their disputes out of court yeah and i also give motivational talks i go to schools i go to institutions i've just I seen that conference. online yeah yeah that's what i do let me ask you mm-hmm. just quick one random question mm-hmm. what makes a dispute difficult to mediate there's no solution um, I'm, I'm trying to refer to the root or ella situation <laughs> technically <laughs> what makes a dispute difficult uh, to sort out greed. Mm. full stop yeah. human greed ego kama watu wanaweza fika mahali wakubaliane because the third the judges are third party mm-hmm. nyi wawili ndio mnajua dispute yenyu vizuri kuliko mtu watatu juu kwanza mna kama na explain ya mtu watatu kotini na mko na maloya wengine wawili wana complicate wanaongezea kiingereza mob mm. so before it's resolved by a judge there's too much work that goes on mm-hmm. but if you agree the two of you that this dispute before a third party you were there mm-hmm. sometimes unakutanga ni hazina wife wameishi mm-hmm. 10 years sasa mm-hmm. mnaleta third party wa nini afadhali <laughs> ya kuwe mediator wa side ya mkubaliane and you know there are no jail terms in mediation mm. and there is no loser in mediation mm. unajua court case bana akisha bang ile kitu judge lazima you know, kuna mtu atalia mtu mmoja anatoka akilia mwingine anaenda ak celebrate mm-hmm. but with mediation win win you shake hands mm. and you maintain relationship oh it always has to have a win win situation yes it's a win win mm, it's no give man, and no take tunakubaliana tuna mm. sign agreement mm. and we keep our part of the bargain ah good stuff that's the, what a way to start the conversation lakini haraka haraka chatu chikinini mekweki happen kwa magazeti front page care what's the yeah, what man, they say the kenya bold newspaper 
mazee yeah. leo Thursday September manze 2023 mm. e, inasema mazee gazeti inozua 60 bob papa Kenya e, Tanzania ni 1700 na Uganda 2700 respectively e, uh, front page na lia real hard work to afcon 2027 begins good stuff ah manze yeah. uh, inaitwa make or break Kenya Uganda and Tanzania join bid to host the Africa Cup of Nations in 2027 was yesterday accepted the heavy lifting start with refurbishment of stadiums serious investment in training grounds and talent injection in national team you know page uh, page 4 and 5 afu baba lawa na ababu na mwamba wa sport and as uh, as east africans we are one a single passport we speak one language that's kiswahili we have a common agenda and hosting this tournament is such a big shot in the arm for integration ni kali sana jo bro na jenda leta tourism Eh, local Why tourism. Why are you talking about money? Si bonge mm. your sports. Zing, hiyo sport ina. Jo futa nyaye. Nilikuta kuona mascots, vitka hizo bro. Eh, like since first quarter kweli. Hiyo talent ni do. <laughs> Idea hapa ni do. Mula, <laughs> eh, munch, <laughs> money, <laughs> pesha. Let me ask you something. <laughs> uh, FM. Yeah. Kino dia fanya mambo. Uh-huh. Eh, una dhani tume make it. Do you think we're ready to host the Afcon even if it's 3 years from now? Mimi as, as a former athlete ni nafikiria tunaweza ji prepare yes. I, i think Kuna the time. most important thing yeah. is to dedicate ourselves and to commit ourselves to the cause jule mm. shida iko sometimes kenya sasa munde kisha toka ya kujenga stadium mm. unaona kaa kitu ili happen mono kinoru stadium siku nyingine mm. hapo yeah, mm. kiwa na madaraka de celebration Uda. alafu viti zikabebwa na nini na nini then ikabaki mm. it was a shame so ningetaka kusema those people who will be tasked with this mandate do mm. not let kenya down mm. and then mcheze kaa nyinyi mm. mtengeneze hiyo kitu ikaepoa mm yani msituletea aibu because yeah. i know we, we are able to do it mm. and we have good engineers we have good contractors we can make the stadium hata mm. talent ya futa iko okay? yeah talent ni more yeah, only the sometimes kwa selection unakuta the oh. best players are not in the field mm. yeah, so mi ningependa kusema tu cgip she tuko na time tuko mm. na uwezo we are capable we are mm. able let's not put the money before the nation that's what Manze? i'm talking about are, are you going to watch the games are you looking forward to attending easy my games are afcon 2027 i'll tell you this mm. first i'm not a football fan mm-hmm. but i'm a fan of harambe stars nice, mm. yeah nice. so i'm not a football fan yeah. but if there's one team i support in this world it's harambe stars mm. so mimi nawaombea nataka iende poa hapa ta maombi tafanya bro home mm. yani it's our team let us support and mimi nita attend because mm. harambe all the games za harambe stars itakuwa mungu yeah. aniweke hai na anipe nguvu mm. games za harambe stars mimi nitatokea na nazambia wa kenya kujeni games za harambe stars true that alafu yeah. rugby world cup in go down bro which team are you supporting <laughs> you lazima nikuliza tu licha za rugby south africa ah, come on which <laughs> game island na ese we usifuzi we kevin na joke kadu ni ni kwa kini south africa yeah, okay so it's, it's na all island rich kwa je mimi niliona game island lakini mimi ni favorite island okay wako fit lakini bado tuko Africa so oh, right. uh, so, my so. tribe is Africa <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys at the MVP report remember <laughs> we are we're here <laughs> with Fanya <tribal. laughs> <We're here with laughs> Mambo Kinudia is a lawyer and uh, this is what he had to say by the if you're wondering what you're going to be talking about of course it has to be related to the high cost of living mm-hmm. skiza laugh sasa tutaingia tutaingia kwa hii conversation in a bit tumetengeneza petition inaenda bunge inaenda kotini next week and the petition is very clear we want to set a constitutional limit as to how much money the government can come into your salary as direct taxation because this government has gotten to a point where they think they have a right over your salary mm. they've gotten to a point where they can go to a 70% if they wanted mm. right now they are civil servants and people who are being taxed to the tune of 35% of your earnings mm. if this government thinks that it is very sweet to tax people mm. let them take the salaries mm. we shall take the taxes Africa arise vibes ready Yo man hey you killed it You want to play kwa ili kwa sawa so you said you're going to petition uh, the government you're going to take them to court yes. and then ukasema pia let them take the salary but sit back in taxes take everything yes. brother mali tumefika saa hii uh-huh. surely uh, clearly things are getting out of hand do you think the government is empathetic do you think wanaelewa vitu maze vile ni noma kwa ground ama wanatulenga tu they don't care and ningependa kusema hivi you see these people have objectives they want to achieve yeah shida yao ni wanafikiria for them to achieve their objectives <coughs> the money we make when you namkanga when you lienda shule ume hustle umekuja hapo umeongea kwa hii station yule msi anaendesha pikipiki huko amefanya hustle yake mm. gava ina plan ya hiyo do ni kama ni do ya gava mm-hmm. <laughs> 
one of the things the first thing need to realize is that that is my money mm-hmm. that is my hard earned money na hata hii gava ile kitu amekalia ni mimi nimewapatia hiyo kiti kama mwananchi so i have to come even god who created heaven and earth is only asking for 10% Bana. and god is so fair he's telling you hata hii 10% ni kwa hiari yako ulete ama yeah. ukose kuleta usipokuleta tutakutana huko binguni yeah. tutasotiana huko <laughs> una get mm. but here we have a government that we are the ones who put in place mm-hmm. and is the one deciding how much they want from our salaries na kwanza inakatiwa pale juu kwa kikingi unajua vile stima ukatiwa juu kwa kikingi inakatwa hata kabla ikufikie so you you built your life around your dreams mm. and around your salary mm. But we have something called a government that decides that they can come and raid in too far. Mm-hmm. Unajua tu wanafikiria first tunaongea hii petition tunaongea juu ya direct taxation ile ndo wanaweza kuja wakate mm-hmm. like maybe kama una ankafinje mm-hmm. awafai kuchukua more than 20% of that kafinje. Mm-hmm. Jumungu mwenyewe anachukua only 10%. Mm-hmm. Na hata anakupatia latitude ujipelekee mwenyewe really? akuji. Mm-hmm. Number two, The reason we are saying 20% mm-hmm. is nataka ukumbuke sayo kifanya job kila mtu anafanya job Kenya gava inachukua more than 50% of your money and i can explain how mm-hmm. boss una mkasubui ukifungulia tu katapi hivi unajua maji ni arabi water mm-hmm. iko taxed mm-hmm. haya ile majani unaenda kuweka kwa hiyo chai iko taxed mm-hmm. maziwa iko mm-hmm. taxed kashuge kako tax mm-hmm. ile kikombe uneka hiyo chai ndani iko tax mm-hmm. by the time una koroga ukunywe you're taking a cup of taxes not even a cup of tea <laughs> ile mkate unaenda kula nayo hii chai pia hiyo mkate iko tax mm-hmm. ukitoka tu hivi nje kama unakuanga na kandaya ama kapikipiki ukienda kugurumisha hiyo mafuta mm-hmm. iko tax mm-hmm. ukitoka by the time unafika job yani you've woken up you've taken a cup of taxes you've mm-hmm. brushed your teeth with taxes mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. riding on a vehicle that is just consuming taxes mm-hmm. unakumbuka kwa hiyo clip hata nilisema ama MP sahi wanaenda na V8. Mhm. V8 sahi anatumia diesel, mm-hmm. diesel ni 200 bob. Mhm. Mkenya kawaida anatumia mafuta ta. Mafuta ta ni 202. Mm-hmm. Yaani mafuta ta ya kuwasha stove upike ugali ni more expensive, expensive, expensive kuliko diesel ya V8. Ambaye kuna MP analipiwa mafuta na sisi. Mhm. Hiyo mileage allowance wanapewa ni yetu. Mm-hmm. Mafuta yenye wanatumia ni sisi tunawalipia. So they are thoroughly cushioned from the effects of high fuel costs. Yeah. Na mimi ningetaka kusema the second bill nataka kuleta na mm-hmm. na mean the second petition that we are preparing right now to file. Mm-hmm. Ni ya kusema kutoka leo mileage allowance ya MP itolewe kwa mshahara yao. Wasiwe yeah. wanapewa mileage allowance. Yeah, yeah. Kwa sababu mileage allowance ikitolewa wata feel pinch. Mm-hmm. Unajua wanaenda bunge kama ile siku walikuwa wanapitisha hiyo VAT on fuel. Mm-hmm. Walipitisha VAT on fuel mm-hmm. because hata ikiwa bado wanapatiwa mileage. Yep but if we remove the mileage allowance from the mp salaries mm. and the mcas mm. and the senators hakuwe hakuna mileage allowance itolewe by law mm. then these people will start going to the pump and paying from their own pockets mm. utaona ile mswada itaenda but let me ask you something bwana kinuthia unajua kuna watu wanasema mali imefika sahi especially from the government's perspective wanaona ni necessary to tax my guys because the government can't continue borrowing whatever that means mjumini yes. mechiki bado wana boro but hey, thing, i don't know <laughs> wana sema hii mm. tawasaidia mazendo wa manage situation you know first of all the kuku ana ndo kwa tikwa coffers and now they're trying to you know avoid over borrowing does it make sense nitakwambia hivi mm-hmm. before muonge story ya borrowing why are we not talking about expenditure true mm-hmm. because sahi mm-hmm. muliona control of budget sio mimi control mm-hmm. of budget hata edwin sifuna alituambia the other day mm-hmm. control of budget alisema state house was allocated 2.3 billion mm-hmm. for a month Okay. Mm-hmm. 2.3 billion uki divide by 30 days is 77 million per day. If you divide by 24 hours kuna pesa inakuliwa state house 3 million per hour. Una get? So why, why are you overburdening and us with taxes? Mm-hmm. Mnakuja mnatuwekelea mzigo yote. Alafu hiyo taxes yote mnachukua state house mm-hmm. iko inatungwa mm-hmm. kiholela. Mm-hmm. Ebu chukua bei ya boda boda uchukue 77 million mm-hmm. divide. Utaona wale wasona kula boda boda 500 per day. Mm-hmm. New ones. So all I'm trying to say mm. is before you tell us about how much money you need to run government mm. tell us about wastage in government mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. sayo meona foreign trips gava imetumia 20 billion 20 billion boss ukiangalia how much man, how many how much how many children 20 billion in a educate kenya ni mob sana nilikuwa so na... what are foreign trips for mm. hii upuzi ya kuzurua sometimes unasikia na ni kitu nilisema the other day 
mtu wa gava ametoka hapa ameenda Congo Brazzaville Congo zingine hata tujiji na president mm-hmm. Eritrea some countries that we don't trade with mm-hmm. places hata mkenya hajai toka hata ukienda huko hakuna Kenyan delegation hata mm-hmm. uwezi nunua peremende kwa hiyo country mm-hmm. we don't do trade with them mm-hmm. unakuta kuna gava wako na watu wameenda ku spend do yetu huko but but let me ask you are you still are you telling us that these foreign travels vile hata juzi tumechikipelezwa mitoka to state the other day uh, governor sakaja alikuwa na and of course kulikuwa na mbogi kutoka uh, gava government officials who went to the president are you saying that Uh, these uh, travels are unnecessary boss in the era of zoom na ileleta biashara kenya unajua kuna watu wanasema hii inaleta value so why are you saying it's unnecessary let me tell you yeah. saa zile kulikuwa na covid na the world was on lockdown conferences azikuendelea <laughs> zilikuwa za good down <laughs> azikuendelea that's a good one i am telling you those people because they were so free <laughs> 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 you play that few few fast eh eh goja goza goza okay you good all right mabaza hapo hivyo guys fanya mambo kinude there with us eh yeah, yeah. 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 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. because they were so afraid of their own lives ataki kupata covid mm-hmm. ah kutoka kenya foreign mm-hmm. travel became a bad thing all mm-hmm. of a sudden it became dangerous it became zoom was good to uh, zoom mm-hmm. but now because the world is open and there's pleasure in traveling mm-hmm. and by the way let me tell you boss saima ali urezo wetu amefika kwa 50 something close to 60 mm-hmm. At that age when you do a, f- a flight from here to New York is about 15 16 17 18 yeah, hours, yeah, hours depending on which part of the US you're going you to land. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so obviously you are tired after a 15 hour flight. Yeah, jet lag here. Yeah. Your jet lag. Mm. And there'll be another 15 hours mm. of our head of state is sitting uh, in a plane controlled by a pilot in the air for 15 hours how much more would he have done for this nation right si wala wafike huko watu wawili tu hata hatutaki watatu ni mmoja na mtu mwako na akili timam you know the problem is there was a time there was a meeting between the US and some of our Kenyan ministers yeah. and and we got to see a picture of the boardroom the americans were seated on that side each had a pen yeah. and a scribbling board yeah. All the Kenyans carried nothing. Wameka, <laughs> to one, I think we have a photographic memory. Tulikuwa tunataka ku capture kila kitu kwa hiyo meeting kwa. Ati photographic. That tells you these guys were tourists. Yeah, yeah. That tells you these guys were tourists. Yeah. Because there was nothing of importance that they even wrote down. Mm-hmm. So mimi ningetaka kusema hivi, mm-hmm. if we truly are interested in building this nation, right. We cannot build it on foreign trips. Yeah. And if this was a bottom up economy that yes. meant kuinua mtu wa chini yes. you don't need a us trip kuinua mtu wa chini yeah. mtu wa, the trip that you need let me tell you the most ni important trip uko. ni kwa mama mboga uende mm. chini na yeye akwambie na kaanga hapa kando ya barabara lakini ukinifanyia hivi na hivi life yangu itaimpa so fm fm kama vile sai juzi prezo alikuwa hapa uhuru park Mm-hmm. amejenga kaji kanyumba kama bati kama mikiwa hapo nini stima mm-hmm. mama fulani ameletwa na anaonesha vile mtani kuna kaanga mm-hmm. uh, ilikuwa all in vain kiangalia iko i could send the message home ilikuwa ya 8000 yule mama ana kiti ya 8000 kwa nyumba you know <laughs> tuambia nange tu kweli <laughs> it was uh-huh. cheaper wow. badala ya kuzenga kahao mm-hmm. <laughs> 20 kilometers out of Nairobi in any direction. Mm-hmm. Bus utakuta kahao kana ka hivyo. Mm-hmm. Na acha atakwenda 20 kilometers. Mm-hmm. Siingie tu hapa Mokuru kwa Ruben. Kwa Jenga. Kwa jenga. Madhari. Bus utakuta the real deal. Yep. Eh ile kitanda ndiyo kiti ndiyo. Huyo hii hao pango asubuhi. Yeah. Eh usiku. Hiyo nyumba ile kwanga self confused, that is self contained, self confused. Mm-hmm. So boss, hizi vitu za kwenda uhuru pa kujenga kanyumba kama bati hazi make sense. Mm. Juu nyumba za mabati ziko Kenya. Unajua mm-hmm. kitu unaweza fanya majuu, yeah. unajaribu kuonyesha watoto wazungu Afrika watu. kuna hao zina kai. That's true. Mm-hmm. Lakini hata ile hao hakuna kama hiyo Kenya because hakuna hao ya mabati imefanishiwa hivyo. Mm-hmm. So ashikilia hapo hivyo. Guys, we hanging out with Fanyamambo Kinudia, he's a lawyer. Alafu nakumbuka ile quote, wachukue salary tubaki na taxes. taxes. Ground wanasema ground ni hostile. Is the president aware we're going to be talking about that? We we'll go to other direction. Uh, remember when there's a stream live on www.vibradio.co.ke we are mm-hmm. hashtag money vibes at 737. Shikilia hapo don't move. Yeah. Morning vibes where you are the MVP. No negative vibes. Thank you. Morning vibes where you are the MVP. No negative vibes. Feel. Mhm. Since you 
1045 Vibes Radio Hashtag Morning Vibes I'm your local energy provider Otada Wagwan Na kama kawaida mkali Extraordinary Kevo Badan Yeah man Hapa hapa manze kwenye waya Manze for doing what to do best manze For real for real And mm-hmm. we're hanging out with our brother Fanya Mambo Kinudia He's a lawyer Motivational speaker mm-hmm. C- Can I also say you're a politician? Yes I am Ah good stuff I vied last year Ah where, ah, where is uh-huh. this? Award, no, ma. Uh, I was the Azimio candidate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was number two, which is not very useful in politics. Uh-huh. <laughs> like that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But uh, our yeah. people uh, had a preference for the wheelbarrow then. So I want to get a story to fault. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, 2027 things will be looking. Uh, uh, 2027, it's going to be a long way. Let me ask you something, uh, Bona Kinuthia. Unajo kuna delil kuna bonga hapa hivina kevo. Kivu waka nembekev. Man, let me tell you, bro. Your story ya kuvoti ya party ilisha anga. Squeezy watu uvoti anga ideologies. Mm-hmm. I say people vote mostly party, personality, alafu ya ideologies. Uno naje? Kenyans vote on emotions. Mm-hmm. Hey! Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Una time nilisema? Yeah. Unaona ile kitu BVR mm. ya yeah. kuangalia kama wendi una vote mm-hmm. inafai chenjiwe. Uh-huh. First tu wekeweka kitu kingine ka kuchekika kwanza mind yako iko fit. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be a voter, you qualify to be a voter in terms yeah. of voter sanity. Yeah. Before to kwatie kura because yeah. let me tell you in in, in 10 seconds. Mm. Unaona wala wase walikuwa mm. wanatoa mtu ward. Yeah. Wanatoa mtu kwa ward na Robi Hospital ama yeah. hospital yoyote wanampeleka Lolio ndo. Yes, yes. Imagine wako na voters card. Wallahi tena. Unaona yeah. believers wa helicopter ministry. Yeah. Imagine wako na voters card. <laughs> <laughs> Unaona wala wase walienda kwa kupimwa macho. Yeah. Wote wako na voters card. Imagine wako na voters card. So badala ya BVR mm. ya kucheki kama ni wewe, mm. tuko na kitu kwa kwanza kuangalia kama brain yako imefika level ya kujua what you are doing before hey. hey. you can vote. Man, so that hey. not everybody is given a vote because yeah. they have an ID. Hey. It's true. Yeah. Because Mazet, a lot is a, is a, is a stake. Mm-hmm. Wezi ata, wezi ata tuwa mse ya judge sort ki, ma, ki brains a let waende wa vote ya mga ya down. And then now these are the people who are going to be running taxpayers money, setting the agenda for the country, discussing policy. Tunataka watu wa sharp. I read a quote from somebody who said that he's a hero, mm. but he's only afraid of idiots. Then he was asked why. He mm. said it's because there are too many mm. and one day they'll vote for us a president. <laughs> 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 that's the situation in Kenya. Too many idiots. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes yeah. we need to be careful with who we give the voters card. You will go much at Trump. <laughs> Trump akiwanga mwenye reso unakuwa akiwanga mwenye reso na Vince Mapan sasa alikuwa anasema ngati one day dream yake akasema mimi ndajasimama prize wa America ikakuwa ah wakacheka kwanza hapo iko hiyo akaoka interview wao eh afa na baki do you think you can make it how will you do it it will be easy i go to the republic yo now guys let's let's talk about here something crazy ground kukuwa hostile ilikuwa nimecheki tweet flani ya mutahinguni aliandika dear ruto take time to listen to kenyans the ground is hostile and dishing out development at Uhuru Park will not help you. You are talking to yourself, period. You are popular abroad with the Wazungus. But at home, we are hostile. Take time to listen. Unadhani Prezo uh, is aware of the situation kwa ground. Emotions are Kenya. How Kenyans are so frustrated. You know, we are crying out for help. We are we are desperate, Maze. Is he, is he aware? Um, uh, because uh, from where I'm seated, no, nah, nini ka, you know, there's a quote, also manga, this is an old quote when I say for the people despite the people. I feel like the economy, things are so complex. I may have to make decisions as it abamba out, but imagine it just has to. So is it really aware of the outcry on the ground despite all these things that he's doing? Ama kunwala to an ampelekeo story. Um but the real story kwa ground mm. liko. That's that true. Wako wawe ya lakini ukisha tumua Moses Kuri ya kwambe uchimbe kisima yako. Ama unatumua dipia kwa bii gavani ya shareholders. Wa bii. Trust you me they are aware. Yeah. But they are completely and totally insensitive to the Kenyans. Mm-hmm. And that's why when Moses Kuri anasema chimba kisima yako. Mm. Ama alvinya lisema siku moja ataenda kukojua place fulani hapo. Mm-hmm. And then um, the, the DP came and actually said that he mm. supports those words. Mm. So basically, Gava is owning up and telling you... Um, actually, DP will castigate Kuria. Uh, later, much later. But yeah. you see, first, he's the most divisive person to, to start Who, with. The DP. The DP. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think, alikuwa na shida na Kuria, juwa na Kuria, na chukua trofea. Anamovate. Anamovate. But, um, mahalu wamefika also, I think, iyo ni noma. Mm. Uh, Grau iko... 
not happy na watu wengine pia wenye wanafaa hii Kenya hawajui na wanafaa kuambiwa mm. ni mabishops na mapasta mm-hmm. especially all these independent churches because most of those divisive words are said at the altar that's sasa mm. zile DP alisema uti unaweza toa suruali uvae kwa kichwa mm. alisema kwa altar mm. na kuna mabishop walikuwa hapo wanapiga wana makofi na hawakukata hiyo story mm. kwa hivyo hata nyinyi mabishop mjue sisi wa Kenya we are not happy with you mm. because nyinyi mlikuwa mnafaa ku provide leadership <laughs> na mlikuwa mnafaa ku unify Kenyans mm. and whenever a statement is said before you Mm. that is divisive and insensitive to other people mm. wewe kama mchungaji unafaa usimame useme uh-uh. mimi sijakubali hii maneno ama wakatakaza ya watu kuongeanga kwa altari mm. lakini sasa hii altar zao zimekuata ndio mbaya kuliko political podiums ni noma manze kev kwa sababu sio na mata mara kama like the, the other day ule chali kituambia wako na koniwa do ule mdemasi mm. wana koniwa do through pasta yes pasta na kam na waombea na anajua kabisa ni scam inaendelea hapo yes. unaona but at same speed jo as we proceed fm kuna story imekuikiendelea unapata kasa hii e, makatu rustlers eh mm-hmm. wame take over <coughs> eh watu huko vi maturkana wapi wapi kwa kina nandi na huko vi ni noma una get mm-hmm. na mabandi to take over e, 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 reza kina boni forest hapa mm-hmm. watu wakaina amani lamu Al-shabab, watu wa walali jamal shabab akina wajia masabi tu kwa sada tuongee siku hata mimi delete hiyo story hata kidogo kwa sababu ni kitu imekuwa day in day out ni kitu inaendelea mm-hmm. alafu at the same time <coughs> watu wengi wana fail hiyo ni kwa priority ya the government of the day mm-hmm. lakini tunaona president wetu ame ame sign ma soldier when they hate Eh, wengine wende zaire na at the same time wale wengi tulipeleka bado Somali wanaaktiwa wajarudi bado eh iwo yote ya masoja kupelekwa nje wangena tu benefit mali popote si sofa mali tuko <laughs> wewe kubenefit ni shida yako mm-hmm. you see to start with mm-hmm. angalia the money 14 billion kenya shillings is being allocated na sio army wanaenda haiti yeah, si army wanaenda yeah, kenya police 14 billion shillings unge divide vizuri ni kama kila polisi angekuwa entitled to 14 million shillings unafikiri mm-hmm. watapata hiyo do unafikiri hata watapata mita moja pa policeman let's start mm-hmm. there number two. Mm-hmm. number two. <laughs> i think we are in a country that is doing very well mm-hmm. the more other sense, day sense. the other day kuna vijana 350 walikuwa natakikana gsu mm-hmm. tukaenda watu 7000 yeah, so yeah. i think the government employed all the 7000 mm-hmm. they equipped our policemen they equipped our police stations we are done with fighting crime in lamu we are done with banditry yeah. there is nothing going wrong in this country yeah. unaweza chukua simu yako saa 8 ya usiku simame nation center uongee hapo nje yeah. unaweza tembea usiku saa 8 na pesa kwa mtu atakunyang'anya mm-hmm. crime kenya saa hizi reporting iko zero. zero so the only thing imebaki ni kuchukua kara wetu tupeane haiti yeah. because yeah. hakuna shida and then our police are so professional uliona vile wali handle maandamano mm-hmm. hawakuchuna hata mtu hawakuumiza mtu <laughs> hakuna mtu alikufa yote wa Kenya watafanya job moja smart sana because they are so, mimi ningependa tu kusema mm. Kenya tumeachieve kila kitu tulikuwa tunataka kwa policing you know mm. you know anakuwa na set standard one citizen for no one policeman for every 450 citizens mm. of course hii Kenya iko 1100 but i think in the imagination of this government we have surpassed the un limit hata tuko na too many policemen yeah. so we can donate <laughs> to na wengine let me tell you the oh most sensible God. thing to do yeah because i've asked after say that i must give a suggestion of course mm-hmm. boss unakumbuka ukikuja ina hii kuna watu wamekuja na hii wakiwa kubwa yeah, yeah. When you did not know the difference between mahali KICC iko yeah. na mahali siju ya Fia Center iko mm-hmm. ukitoa karao sasa hii Kenya umpeleke Haiti atakuwa hivyo uh. before anza ku fight crime anatumia Google Maps anauliza hii iko wapi <laughs> It will take him six months yeah, to study bro. Haiti. Exactly. Six months to study Haiti before he can even use his gun to mm-hmm. shoot one criminal. Mm-hmm. That's fascinating. Sasa you are studying Haiti munaikuwa kwa masanduku mkirudi na mabodi. The only sensible thing is we have very good training institutions for police. Si watupatie vijana wao 2000 walikuja hapa tu wa train six months waenda wakalimane you know wenyewe I mean? kwenyewe. Hii ni vita yao sio vita yetu. You know what I mean? These are their streets not ours. Tafuta mtu amezaliwa Haiti mwenye anajua kona zote chuo mzote. Boss, sasa hii nakuuliza, sema uje enda place ka githorai. Yeah. Maybe uje kwa huko. Ama sasa hii toleo upelekwe Mombasa, a city you have never been. Yeah. Upelekwe the most dangerous part of Mombasa, Jesus. upelekwe Old Town. Wambo unaenda ku fight time crime Old Town. Manze. Na labda kale kanzi unaingilia ndiko wanatokea. <laughs> so it is nonsense. Unaenda huko unachorwa map na mbwa tunaingilia hapa tunatokea pande hii. Yeah. Boss, get guys who are born in Haiti. Una brana bugi genjo. Hata the British Army trains. Oh, hapa, kweli. 
kweli. You know what I mean? I'm going to ask you something to Kirudi because I want my calls ziko hapa hivi watu wanapiga simu I think they want to ask us questions mm-hmm. and make my comments. Mm-hmm. Guys, we're hanging out with uh, Fanya Mambo Kinuthia, he's a lawyer, politician as well as a motivational speaker. Mm. And he Ali to motivate na hiyo wachukue salary to back in taxes. <laughs> Right now, phone lines go open 0719012700. If you have any questions, comments, pia. Time do we apa? MVP report is going down. Nama ume chiki story yote kwa ground grow ina tashishu unge pena kumbia Kenya. Phone lines are open once again 0719012700. Twenty kazi. Good morning. Vibes Radio, conscious all the time. Ni nani ambaye angeweza kasimama akafulai kwa vitendo hivi tunavyo faniziwa na bado akaserebleti wakati watoto wetu wanakufa njaa kule. Watu hawana vyakula sa nyingine, hawana maji, mahospitali hawana na madawa. Usafiri ni shida. Tunafukuzana na watoto maskini kuwaomba kuwaomba kodi. Hii kodi ambayo iko pale tumepewa na Mungu hatuishughuliki. Ni unyama. Na kama ni dhambi hii ni dhambi kubwa. Mimi ndugu zangu nilipozungumza kwamba hii lazima we have to fight for this. Sio kwamba mimi sina damu. Nina damu. Lakini damu yangu haina faida kama wananchi wa Tanzania walionichagua kwa moyo wao bila hata kuwahonga na Mungu akawabariki kwamba mpeni huyu halafu nisimame pale nikawe mmoja wa wasariti Africa arise vibes ready Man, powerful lords up here, Victor, kwa magufuli. 0719012700 give us a call MVP report once na chalo once again to kadiko ni chalo good morning bro Eh kebo Niaje guys Sito vite mazena sikeo yoyo mgini ako hapo hivyo anelezea kila kitu vizuri Alinafizi <laughs> Anaongea vizuri so kabisa na explain how the government is vizuri kila mta naelewa na kitu inyame bonga ni kwa nina make sense mm-hmm. Maze three quarters of Kenyans on about na feelings that's very true Emotions yep. eh manzena Yuhu ni ambia wuzi ni ambia utenda kubuti ya mtu kama mwase zikuri ya shuali Kwa jini serikali ya vi hii hii mimu usema hii ni serikali ya vikindi hii 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 ni serikali ya vipindi Ehe Inafai ya ndi ya kiti mama kaya hii, isi isi gaba Hii ni serikali ya vipindi my friend Sao chalo, waa You're saying they're not serious? They are not, they are not even serious, they are jokers all over Ukienda kwa mwuzi sikuri ya wende kwa duwale, wende kwa nana, all those guys they are jokers Uwe, it's a saa, sante sana chalo, waa 0719012700 to pick your simu guys we're hanging out with Fanya Mabo Kinudia he's a lawyer politician motivational speaker wachukua salary to back in a taxes remember that quote well phone lines ziko open kama umechiki kichoto ungependa ku react on about from maybe the newspapers to guys phone lines are open right now mato good morning we mato mato yo ni aje ni aje guys tuko fit bro ndalimia udini yeye 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 Mato unasema je? Hello, sasa unaona hizo unaona hizo ria watu kuenda Haiti. Hiyo maandiko maaskari wetu kwa na Haiti. Eh, ni poa mimi ina ni bow juu juu ah si poa juu. Eh. Unaona US, US wamechoka na hao watu wao kwenda nyumbani wakiwa wameuawa. Sasa unaona watu wetu wakitoka huko Haiti wakiletwa Nairobi sio shughuli yao. Mm. So wanatutumia vibaya. Sisi kama wa Kenya tumekuwa tools of oppression kutumia fight watu wengine na sisi kwetu tuko na mashida. It's sad man, it's sad. Hiyo si poa, hiyo si poa. Tony poa man. Eh uh, brother yetu hapa hivi kidogo na kinuti alikuwa anasema afadhali waletwe hapa tu wa train alafu warudishwe home. Ukwao, una nani ni sawa? Ndio hiyo. Yeah, ndio hiyo sasa. All right. Asante sana Mato big up on yourself. Uh, let's talk to uh, OT. Good morning. Ah, uh, good morning Otanda bwana. Bari asubuhi. Tuko fit sana labda wewe my brother. Gotea gotea badman kevo hapo na mgeni hapo hivyo. Kofiti baba lao jo. Kwa vipi utumesikia story ya mjeshi hapa jo FM mwenyewe? Ah FM mwenyewe amebonga vipoa sana bwana. Huyu jamaa mm-hmm. amebonga yani ile true. Una, unasikia bwana Otada? Mhm. Hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza hii serikali imekuja kudhulumu wa Kenya mbaya sana. Manake sasa kulipa ushuru si mbaya. Unaona bwana? Mm-hmm. Hii tax na pay kwa left side and center hii haifai kabisa. Kulipa yeah. si mbaya lakini mimi ambie juzi vile umetoa zile mimi si ambao wanavuja pesa. Tuliona. Mm. Yaani wana, wanachukua pesa nyingi kwetu waenda wakula waiba. Hiyo ni hiyo tabia gani wanafanya hii tabia chafu? No, Alafu mm. mambo ya corruption hawakuna ha, fight corruption ni kuongea tu story ndio mdomo pa 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 pa. Mm. Lakini hakuna kitu wanafanya brother. So mm. madhei gavana inatoa kwa burden, mm-hmm. inatunyanyasa. Yaani bro ni kubaya kabisa. Hii government hii. Mm. Ah hii hata. Haina okay. haina. Asante Wana. sana. All right. Thank you so much. Uh David good morning. Ah vipi matala? Karibu sana my brother. Uko fiti? 
Mimi niko fresh. Tuko hapa hivi na Kevo Badman and of course fanya mambo kinutia unasemaje? Ah, Kinutia sasa sema kila kitu. Amebonga poa sana. <laughs> Asha sema kila kitu mimi namfulia kofia. Ah sweet. Nice one asante sana. Humbling. Big up. Big up yourself. Sawa sawa David let's talk to Larry. Eh ni aje ni aje. Kofiti Larry mazao unaendeleaje bro? Ni kofiti. Talk to us. Eh kwanza huyo mtekin kinudia kofiti man. Anabonga fiti sana. Very sharp guy. Yeah. Nataka ni mshoki kinudia. Mhm. Anajaribu ajaribu hiyo platform yote kwa Kenya wote. Mhm. Unaona kuna wasaya kina sijui nani okanga? Mm. Okanga anajulikana na wasaya wote, wasio wenye wasio kuone line nini mm. na hizo stories ji za ODM nini nini. Exactly. So mtu amekuja na plan amekuja na plan ya kusevu wa Kenya. Na wasaya it like unajua lazima mm. ambie kweli. Exactly. Na kipato mpe amefanya mobilization ya kila mtu anamfuata. Mm. It like hiyo kitu itahit na bado tunaenda kwa rodi. Unajua ma, mara hiyo kijitokeza sema hii kitu hatutaki. Gavi mm. tengeza baridi. So umesema a mobilize ground. Eh yeah, a mobilize ground wasaya aende citizen na aende wapi kwa hizo nini zote. Kwa mm. so hizo ma platform TV zote nyinyi mko hapo mki. Una ile mki wao mchakata nare. Alright. Alafu hii story, alafu hii story na Haiti. Mm sasa na kitu moja mm. ile ile ule kiongo mse flani alisema they have got money for all but they can't feed the poor exactly sasa Kenya ndio iko hapo hawa say it like acha tu so watapata tu Mungu atawa strike kijao all right asante sana my brother uh, Larry uh, skiza guys we're going to wrap up the conversation with our brother from Mambo Kinuthia in the next hour right now maze a big tune admiral tibet stop the corruption mm-hmm. Three minutes to eight Keep it yeah man you should have stopped the corruption at the system. Will it really stop Kev? Mm, yeah. Is it possible? Uh, soon. Na hii raia hii politicians. Ah vile tunaelekea bro. Yeah. 2027. Na kina kinuthi hapa. Na tunaoitaita kila leo 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 hapa. Ah things will have to change my friend. Tutatingiza mimi. Lazima kutatingika. Net lazima itatingika. Good stuff. Good morning guys. Keep it locked eh. It's a throwback Thursday. For Shizo. This is the Modern Vibes on Vibes Radio. Long, mm. Wonder, TBT, 104.5 Radio. I'm Kev Matara, Wagwan. And of course, man, a bad man right here, Ule Mkali, mm-hmm. extraordinary. <laughs> Very dangerous mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> so, well, yo, Skiza, you know you can actually find us on the frequency, yeah? True. Yeah, the frequency here in Ruby's 104.5 in Mombasa is 98.7. Mm-hmm. And kama kawaida nyeri, Maika, it's all about 98.8. Now, of course, what Meru, 107.1. My people in Nairobi, and big up everybody streaming online, man. Especially all the frequencies, those Melos come out to adore it, man. This rounding no worry you say stream live manzo na tupata manzi hapo viko wa www www.vibesradio.co.km uh, mm-hmm. nukta co <laughs> no, nukta <laughs> yo bro mimi kiswahili sanifu manzi i am not even going to stress myself nah. i'm a kenyan but uh, okay <laughs> about kiswahili sanifu bro yeah hiyo ndio lugha ya taifa nothing who told you uh, bro who told you who told you eh, nili sa unaangalia majority yetu vile ni lugha gani wanga wana wana si wanga kiswahili sanifu si wa si wa kenya yeah. wa afrika ubuntu <laughs> do you know kiswahili ni wadi south africa kevo you push this agenda so much eh uh, panafricanism yeah, i don't want us to share the, our nini una the vile watu wengine una let me kevin let me tell you eh mm-hmm. Okay, I appreciate the fact that uh, Nairobi ni very cosmopolitan kuna watu aina yote mm, from and, different countries. And we're Sudan. But you see some of these guys bro, I mean, mm-hmm. they bring us some cultures, some things eh. I was trying to tell you. Okay, imekuanga hivyo ni 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 human nature. Hata tule tuongo dini tukachukua. Usiseme mm. matiere kacha yao, we usichukue kacha yao mm. kwa maana yenu shida hutokea ni juu. Watu wengi wamesahau culture zao. Kwa sababu we are exposed to other cultures. Yeah. Many cultures. Yeah. Lakini su- e, nakwambia yeah. kivu sufuri yote iwe kwa kweli. Bakira culture yenu. Eh? Tuko tuko ni cosmopolitan tumechangamka, tume yeah. e, tumechanganika. I'll give an example kivu mm-hmm. ama kara wamenda Haiti wanakuja hapa hivi wakirudi kuongea Spain, Spanish. They come back here speaking Portuguese. Kama watarudi. Well, we are, we are praying to come back. Nani? FM amebonga kitu deadly sana. It's true. E, unaenda mm-hmm. maani na una Google map. Mm-hmm. Wewe umeenda githurai sasa hiko riot ati umeenda maandamano umemwaga na basi githurai mm-hmm. bro kimenuka Nanze. kila mtu ame disperse yeah. ataujui chuomo bro 
Hata ujima ni bai. Alafu unajua ama guys wa ama guys wa Haiti eh. They very good when it comes to gorilla warfare. Yep. Wana lolo hii mambo ya kuruka. Unajua hata kwa ma movies, you know the always run around kwa maarufu. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, Wana wako na mandudi. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo punta punta shoot me. Yeah. As it, I don't know how alafu, to do it. I don't guys are ready for that. Alafu una pan African mind manzee yeah, usahau. Haiti mm. was the first country black country mm. to get independent. So why are we going to kill our black brothers? Unashika yeah. sasa wewe yeah. una, una walami already America si wako hapo. Mm. Si America iko hapo Haiti. Mm. Si kweli si Britain iko hapo. Mbona wapi ni au masoja wao? Yeah. Eh? Bro, easy. It's a it's a black killing black. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned manze, you know black killing black. If you're joining us right now, tunamaliza na na story MVP report before we get into mjadala kwa public opinion. Na leo mjadala guy Snitches, mm-hmm. snitches go snitch. Mm-hmm. Sasa zingine itabidi ume snitch. We'll mm-hmm. tell you why we're talking about that. We are hanging out with Fanya Mambo Kinuthia, lawyer, uh, politician, motivational speaker. Wachukue salary to back in a taxes. We'll be talking about uh, ima neno ya taxes in the country. High cost of living maze. Yani bro ina to beat. You guys already know these things. Tumongea sana. And uh, Bona Kinuthia has made it clear. Hapa inaka kuna plan. Mm. You know, he it said it's like, it's like even the president is, I uh, mean, I'm a choose to quick no mambo ina happen kwa grow because the outcry is too much. Wakenya wanateseka. It almost feels kwanza ukisikia matamshi ya Moses it almost feels like the government just doesn't care. That aside, tukimaliza na na history ya uh, Haiti bwana uh, Kinuthia. Um uh, I saw President Biden when uh, Ruto went to uh, America to address the United Nations. Nilicheki President Biden aki 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 big up Ruto. Ako nasema, you know what? This is a man. I'm just well, I'm just summarizing. Mm. Once I'm a man in the nene who is our president working for in whose interest <laughs> uh, is he sorting out all this mess for you know because it seems as if kuna mtu pull the strings behind closed doors mm-hmm. um kitu ya kwanza hata history ya kwenda haiti mm-hmm. if you see biden talking about it like that it, it's almost it, it, it almost feels you know even a call from see america yeah you, who's who's calling the shots you know the american forces were there mm-hmm. and you know what happened to them mm-hmm. Uh, so if you can get somebody else to die on behalf of the Americans, oh, no. then that's our man. Oh yeah. no, yeah, because I mean the truth is their troops died. Yeah. Yeah. Their people died, so many of them. Many. You know, wacha tuonge ukweli. Eh. Wewe mkenya sahi mahali uko simama nje ya barabara. Mm-hmm. Nataka uangalie ile karawa anapita karibu na wewe. Nataka uangalie ile rifle ameshika kwa mkono. What do they have? A 1940 something G3. Mm-hmm. That thing's fought the second world war. Mhm. Umemtuma Haiti. <laughs> Abu angalia mtandao Haiti wako na weapons gani? Mm-hmm. Sophisticated. Yes, sophisticated. No just check. Weapon. So now you are sending somebody with a knife to a gun battle. Yeah. No na sera kuja na victory. Not unless you come and tell us mm. that these are thousand policemen that you are sending. Hawataenda huko na G3 ku fight na weapons za 2020. Then maybe there is a chance that they stand a chance. Mm. But, but, okay, but because easy yeah. mm. maandamano mm. yenye narushwa mawe na tia. Yes, this, is, this is a different game altogether. And that's why I so like feel yeah. that what we need is not Kenyans there. Mm. It is to train Haiti young men here mm. to go and fight their own problems and their own wars against one another. So that's why I asked you does it mean Ruto is not uh he does it, it's it's almost as if anafanya hii maneno just to please uh, the big brother. Mm. If Ruto was pleasing Kenyans, mm. Kenyans would be praising him. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. They that you please mm. praise you. They that you annoy vilify you. Oh. Mm, preach brother preach. So basically, if you find people saying very good things about you, you then you are doing good things to them. Mm-hmm. If you find people doing saying bad things about you, then you are doing bad things to them. So mm-hmm. simple as that. So Kenyans have what they are saying about this government mm-hmm. and what they are saying about their own president. Do I even need to say it on air? Mm-hmm. It is on the streets. Nyi mwenyewe mnajua vile mna feel. Nyi wenyewe mnajua vile ina mahali kina waramba. Sikizo wanasema kina waramba. And unfortunately mm-hmm. sahi kwa mtaa yetu mimi sijui mse sahi anakubali alivoti gava. Initially mm-hmm. by the way when wali wenye litangazwa kuna mm-hmm. wasi pita kwangu na drama wakibitu mm-hmm. wame celebrate. Mm-hmm. Sahi tukimit na wao they bend. Wengi, tulikuwa eh, wengi. Wana bend wanaangalia chini mm-hmm. alafu wakiangalia chini unauliza niaje wanasema mimi si kuvoti yose. So <laughs> what are your thoughts on the presidential term limit this proposed one by Nandi Seven years. You see Cheral 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 As we wrap up this Cheral, conversation. Cheral that one. Mm-hmm. Cheral ni <laughs> Cheral that Cheral ni. Amemaliza ile agenda alikuwa ametumwa na watu wake yote. Hey. Yeah. 
amewafanyia barabara kwa amewafanyia stima amewafanyia maji amewapatia basari amefanya watoto kila watoto kitu yenye alikuwa anafaa kufanya nandi senate mpaka watoto wanapatiwa double basari wanalipwa the following year yeah. in advance the only thing imebaki on his plate ni kuongea mambo ya 7 year presidential term limit <laughs> i mean was that what he was sent by his people mm-hmm. to do we fought for this 2010 constitution mm-hmm. kama kuna watu hawajui mm-hmm. the 2010 constitution was blood sweat and tears including yeah. lives of people yeah. mm-hmm. you remember the late mbai may he rest in peace he died at bombers of kenya fighting for this constitution mm-hmm. then you have a careless senator coming and waking up and telling kenyans that what you need right now mm-hmm. is not food is not shelter is not bursary what you need is a seven year president But sio sio baba ilikuwa kwa ile mambo ya kitambo ya BBI. BBI. But you see there was never something like seven year term mm-hmm. for any president. Mm-hmm. Na kitu moja hamjui kisheria. You know mm-hmm. your sheria ikipitishwa saa hii. Mm-hmm. Ikuwe law Kenya. Mm-hmm. You know since tunaanza from a clean slate. Mm-hmm. What will stop president Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta from saying mm-hmm. under the new Naran. constitution I can run for seven year terms. Eish. Let me ask you something you know there. Mm-hmm. Uh, quick one. Uh, unajua wana samanga every backing dog has a owner. Yep. Una get. Mm. At the same time, uh, this is not the first time we've seen uh, these people uh, m- members of the Kenya Kwanza government. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wakileta he proposal to that, that MP as well from CG. I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Do you think okay, is this psychophancy just somebody trying to please the president which I think will not work? Ama ikitu iko na kuna mtu anataka kushia agenda. Kuna pimwa maji vile iko. Every yeah. every backing dog has an owner yeah. until the owner disowns it. Mm. <laughs> so if it has not been disowned by the owner, it still belongs, it still to, the belongs owner. to the owner. Wow. Mm. So ukikutana na dogi yako huko ina back back useme mtu achana na umbo yango yeah. then it is still your dog but ukiwaambia hiyo hata mkiua sina shida nayo then the neighbors will know that you disowned that dog you stopped feeding it because imekusumbua it's no longer yours so, so it sense. has an mm-hmm. owner until it is disowned mm-hmm. Kina mal- na kwa sababu hatujaona yeah. gavai kikuja kusema we do not support this seven year term limit mm-hmm. And even the way in which it was entered in Bomazu kiangalia time ya submissions ilikuwa imepita for that. Mm. Pita, But for yeah. that for some reason it found its way mm. and it's on the table and it's being discussed. Yeah. Then it's a very very dicey issue. Is it likely that uh, iki tunaweza pita? I mean watu walikuwa wanasema finance act haita pita. Oh nini I, I feel like I feel like Is there a Ruto they have the numbers everywhere if they want to push an agenda they will do you Kuna, think this ba, is likely ba, mina feel na feel kino the eh tuingeza nguvu kwa hiyo mambo ya kevo in short way nini eh hiyo story ya kuongezea seven term seven years term si lazima itaenda kwa referendum mm-hmm. kwa hivyo lazima wa Kenya tawafu kuongea sauti yetu ama wataipitisha ile zao za parliament mm-hmm. kuna advantage moja ya kuweka hiyo kitu hapo mm-hmm. The easiest way to beat them at a referendum mm-hmm. is to add that seven year term. <laughs> It's true. Because now for us who will be wow. no because I'll be no kama nitakuwa <laughs> na nita champion campaign ya no with mm-hmm. or without resources hata kama nitakuwa natembea miguu mm-hmm. I am telling you mm-hmm. kuiweka hapo the easiest mm-hmm. way ni kuambia wananchi president atakuwa na walima miaka saba kina kuramba miaka saba mm-hmm. saikisha kuramba mwaka moja mm-hmm. ebu imagine nyingine sita so What? it will be the easiest thing yeah. to bring that thing to fall yeah. if they were wise they would listen and not have it there Absolutely. but if they are trying to fo- fail at a referendum mm. let them put it there all right guys we've been hanging out with Fana Mambo Kinudia is a lawyer politician motivational speaker he was petitioning the the governmental kwa court kwa hii maneno ya the high cost of living uh, the of course they reviewed uh, fuel prices mambo ya taxes Yo, there's so much going on in the country. Thank you so much Bona Kinuthia. It's been real man. Conversation fit you so me ko appreciate. People saying you know you talk really well maze. Your points are out there. Na unajua loud and clear. Yeah maze. If people want to hook up maybe partner in a, in a sense, I don't know, in a, in whatever form. Wakupate wapi? Um kwa sasa social media zote zangu mm. ni fanya mambo kinuthia. Mm. Ata TikTok everywhere just look for fanya mambo kinuthia. Fantastic. And um if you ever need mediation and arbitration mm. services nice. nitafute pia mm. we can help you. Usiwe na dispute mm. kana kusumbua kotini. Mm. And most importantly you mesema na bonga poa. Mm-hmm. Um this is how I make my living. I'm yeah. called to schools. I speak oh, to nice. schools. Yeah. I speak to institutions of learning. Mm-hmm. I speak to corporates. You see yeah. the good yeah. thing about being trained as a lawyer. Mm. You're trained to speak to a judge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So your training to speak is very high. Lakini Mungu akanisaidia pia muweza ku connect na grow. Which is good. So mkitaka like you know there's a place where you feel there are people who needs to be spoken to. Mm-hmm. I speak for a living and I nice, like it. Nice. So, okay. yeah. Word power. I like Word that. power and sound. Once again, fanya mambo kinudia imekuwa real. Are you still vying in 2027? God willing, yes. Yeah. Uh, we are praying that uh, nisisumbuliwe sana na watu <laughs> wa Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> 
just so that I'm yeah. alive yeah. Yeah. to Quarnab. offer myself exactly. to provide alternative leadership in this country. Yeah. Yeah. We need alternative leadership. Yes. For real, for real. Aya, guys, mm-hmm. Tukirudi, it is all about Mjadala Koto Public Opinion. Leo mm-hmm. Kev. Mm-hmm. Leo, hey. infidelity. Ah, nikazi yako kuenda ku snitch. Eh, hey, umepata umepata mama wa best yako mama ma ameona chalia best yake. Yeah. Akiona awe mwingine. Yeah. Unafaa kuambia mama best yako ama chalia best yako. Eh, hey, nimeona mpoa wako. Yeah. Na mtu mwingine nimeona ni kaa sio wewe. Yeah. Ama we ni kama wale wa, wa squeeze <laughs> akina sisi na matara hapa. Yeah. Inabaki, "Eh, hey, jana niliona demo yako manze kwa ile bezi mpya motora." <laughs> Afu unasema matara mza, "Jeez." Yaani mlo kuna bezi mpya mtu anamjaniambia atakumbukia. Alafu tumeki tu askia vuna hadi una record. Eh. Sio ni mama. Yoni mama wa nani? Eh. Eh. So is it your job mm. when you put your information your infidelity? Your friend your friend's girl is cheating. Mm. Ama your friend's boyfriend is cheating. Yeah, huyo mde mchaleka na cheat. Will mm. you go and tell her? Ni utameze share. Ni kazi yako? Eh, ama eh. ama una swalo. <laughs> Kila mtu na mambo yake. <laughs> Wanasema don't poke your nose in people's eh. business. Eh. <laughs> the truth put it out there maze all right we'll be talking about that phone lines will be open right now i've got some morgan heritage a man is still a man mm-hmm. this is the modern vibes on vibes radio